Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another brand new episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And today we're going to be checking out the uh, Ashifalaya Basin. Yes, exactly, in Louisiana. Uh, we have a boatload of bass here for species. Uh, we have the channel catfish. We have carps. We have two types of catfish and two carps. Um, so let's buy a license and let's get started. Guys, please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe buttons. Uh, don't forget to comment. Uh, these little actions make a big difference on a small channel like this. And I really appreciate all the support. I hope uh, you enjoy this episode. Let's see what we can get out here. Uh oh, is it frozen? No, it's loading. There we go. Look at this lure. It looks cool. Uh, not the nicest looking map, I will say. Yikes. Uh, how many places are there on this map? Oh, that's it, eh? Okay. Let's do hunter vision. Oh, we have some good stuff here. So I wonder if I put this... Okay, let's go ahead and start making our bottom setups here. Cut bait small. Two odd hook, okay. Let me get this set up. Hey, we're getting something. Noise. It's a small mirror carp from the looks of it. Yes, it is. Noise, look at that. Look at that. Uh, 6.34 kg mirror carp. I am at spot number four using red worm. Uh, but man, this map is really buggy. Let me tell ya. Because of the boat rental place. Uh, it just gets stuck on the press E key. Uh, because it thinks the boat is still, you know, wherever we spawn here. Number two or number three. Or one. And then you cannot cast your other rods. And you're just stuck. So, uh... Yeah, it's been uh, some time now since I've been able to get anything reasonable but uh, as always check your hunter vision see what's going on here uh catfish are gonna be hard to get by the looks of it i haven't seen a single catfish in the hunter view so i will continue on and uh see how it goes okay we got something small by the looks of it it is something though so Right where you spawn, you spawn on the docks. I just ran over here. Ah, a spotted bass. Okay, okay. Cool, let me make it like bright out. Yeah, that's good. Now it's windy too. Ooh, we might have something big. Mm, I guess not. <laughs> There are catfish here that I was thinking would go after. Oh, an eyed. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, change this to small cut bait. Let's put it on all three because why the hell not? I don't think it makes a difference, honestly, but I really want that catfish. There's one there. There's one there. Uh oh, there's basses coming this way. I don't want it. No, sir. We got something else here. Yeah. What could this be? I'm gonna face this way so when we do hold the fish, the light is shining towards the fish. I don't know if that's going to work, but I hope it does. 
Where is this fish? Oh man, this stupid thing did it the other way again. Uh, flathead catfish, I'm really happy we caught it, but wow, is that texture ugly. What is going on here? Here it looks fine down here, but up, up there it's just yikes. Okay. Flathead catfish, I'm happy for that. What other, what other fish are there here? Uh, flathead catfish, I want the channel catfish. That's what we're gonna go for. Look at that, that is amazing. Oh, it... Oh no, I screwed up. I screwed up. Oh my god, look at that. That's a mirror carp. Yes. Too bad we are using a tiny, tiny rod set up here. But it's okay, this tiny little carp will do. Ooh, what the heck? There's another carp running over there. You are no match for us, beauty. Look at that. That is beautiful. Uh, 3.48 kg, 54 silver. Our bigger setups are um, at the bottom. Maybe a fish will strike, but I was just using corn on the float with a uh, 100 centimeters, 1 meter depth. I am at tier 3, so uh, let's see if we can get anything here. But on corn, we had the crappy... Or whatever other fish that got away as well. So you can catch a few different types of fish on uh, on corn. We're getting something here. Nothing big, but something. I put corn on bottom. Oh, <laughs> 1.9. Okay, so what we can now do is uh, we can increase it to 3 yacht and see if this makes a difference. Bigger hook means bigger fish. We're gonna find out. Five kg mercarp, that will be our biggest. Okay, great for carps. Corn is great. Uh, all I need now is uh, a channel catfish if I can catch one. Ooh. Which rod though? Okay, this one. <laughs> wow, are we reeling it in fast? God damn. Black crappy. Look at that. Oh, isn't it cute? I'll take it. Cool. Okay. So uh, I magically leveled up to level 20. And uh, I can now go, uh, I can throw places to where I couldn't before. So I have all the bonuses. Uh, <clears throat> the reason I decided to cheat my way to level 25 from level 11 or whatever the heck I was stuck at is because apparently the size of the fish is determined according to your level, uh, which is not a good thing. I absolutely don't like it. I know bigger hooks and bigger lures and baits were, you know, locked behind uh, higher levels and that makes sense to me, but even after, you know, using five odd hooks at Betty Lake, which is a starter lake, I like I was still catching a single digit uh, weight wise uh, trouts 
and you know on youtube or if you google you'll see people catching 20 kg ones so why the heck can't i catch them uh so apparently maybe i read it wrong uh but it's tied down to your level if you're a high level like level 20 you know you're gonna get those big big carps uh just big fish i guess but if you're a lower level, even with bigger hooks, you're not going to catch anything big. There's an Eid. Not as ugly looking as an RF4. Looks kind of like a roach to me. Uh, we are going to not use... Good, good. We're out of bait. We're not going to... Oh god, that is underwater. You got real issues over there. I'm not going to use corn because corn will catch you all the fish. And I don't want all the fish. I want the big ones. So we have a uh, small cut bait, I believe, is what we have. And I might just move, though, because there's not much big fish here. And uh, where are we? I don't know where we are. I think we're in level four. Yeah, we are right here. So, uh, yeah, I might do one more travel and hope, uh, whoops, and hope we can catch something here. Noise. Oh, uh, we got something here. There we go. Oh, it's trying to fight. It's trying to fight, but it's not going to work. See what this is. A grass carp. Look at this bad boy. 6.35 kg grassy. That is super cool. He's extra fidgety. I like it. Okay, that's great. Well, guys, this was just a short look to this place here. Uh, not a great map, I would say. I just, I can't believe it, but Betty Lake is still one of the best maps out there outside of DLC because you can get such beautiful fish. Uh, you can get fish that are worth good money. You can get a good fight. And you can get all of it with ease. Uh, this map and a few others, I'm just not feeling it. Um, not to ma not only that, but, you know, it's kind of an eyesore of a map. Uh, it's just this graphics engine, whatever the heck this is. It's so weird. Uh, it makes everything like look at the sky. It's just white. I Can understand if there's clouds or something but behind the trees you can see it's all white all the way to the back and It makes it just look so weird So uh, yeah, that is going to be it. I'm not even gonna bother with this. I'm just gonna go back That's gonna be it for the episode. Thank you so much for tuning in next episode what is this? Trout, Hutchin, Barbel, Xander. The map looks very interesting, but I don't know if I'm interested in any, in any of these fish. They don't look particularly good. We can already catch Brown and Brook on the starter map. Uh, Pinus Bay or Pinus, Pinus Bay uh, has Mahi Mahi, Amberjack, Runner, Roosterfish, Giant, uh, Gilt Head, Seabream. This is probably going to be our next map uh, that we're going to check out. So uh, that should be interesting because we got a lot of big fish there. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment below. I will see you next episode. Until the next time, guys, enjoy.